as gamers and as people, we do not like change, which is really crazy because sometimes the best way to uh, to get better at something is switch things up, get out of the routine, get out of your box, and do things differently. Angels, what is going on? The Champ Strider here. And I know for a fact that sometimes, you know, unless you get a good kick in the ass by someone, people don't like to make any changes. So, you know, today I'm going to deliver that kick and uh, I'm going to challenge some of you guys. And we're going to talk about switching things up in our training. And we're going to do that by switching up our sensitivity. Now, when we're doing aim training, whether it's Kovacs, whether it's Aiming Pro, uh, we're trying to improve our mouse control. And uh, sometimes the best way to do that is to make it more difficult or harder to control the mouse. But a lot of times what we do is we wind up wanting to go right to that that sensitivity that, that we play on in game because it feels the most comfortable. And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get into it. But, uh, you know, all those people always talking about, I don't want to mess up my mu muscle memory. I don't want to mess up my muscle memory. Do have a video on muscle memory. Please check it out. I'll actually probably put it on the end screen. But a lot of times, most of us gamers, we play at a sensitivity that's a little bit easier for us to control. So what happens is in Kovacs, we go to that sensitivity, and that's us performing at our best with a, a, a sensitivity or a speed that we're comfortable controlling, and we want to actually improve improve our mouse control, which of course will happen naturally, but I think we want fast results rather than slow results. So what we're going to do this week is I want to challenge you guys to increase your sensitivity. And now I usually play at 30 or 35 CM for 360, depending on the game. And this week, this entire week, I'm going to do all my Kovacs, all my FPS training at 20 CM per 360. And I want to challenge you guys to all switch up to 20 CM also. And the point with a lot of these Kovacs drills is we want to become more precise, but we're training at, you know, CMs or sensitivities that we're already pretty precise or we perform optimally at. But what we want to do is by making it faster, we're going to develop that fine wrist and fine finger control. We want to develop those muscles that are controlling the mouse to improve our precision even more. And in theory, what happens here when you're playing at that significantly faster uh, sensitivity is as your precision gets better, you know, when you switch back to your normal sensitivity in game, you should feel even more precise than you were originally. And this is like one of those things from from a philosophical standpoint when you're training, whether it's in it's in sport, it's in boxing, kickboxing, mixed martial arts, or if it's a game training, you want to you want to attack weaknesses, right? You don't want to just constantly work on your strength. So if you're like me and you're really good at 35 CM, that's what you feel comfortable with. Like at some point, you're not really doing yourself any service, just constantly training at that sensitivity. You want to work on an area that you're weaker on. Like uh, I have no, no like uh, expectations of doing extremely well when I go down to 20 CM for the first few runs. Like I think it's going to take me a day or two to start hitting, you know, respectable scores for me. But I do know this is like, it's like sometimes putting money in the bank, right? You got to make the investment, let the cash build up over time to get that big bank roll. And here we are, we're putting in the work and the harder sensitivity so that when we go back in game, we're even more precise and our aim is even improved more than it would have just training Kovacs normally. Now, for like what scenarios or routines I'm going to do with this, you know, that's that's like one of those things. I, I don't have a specific one. I'm going to run through all the routines that I have on my page, actually. I think you guys know I've mentioned it before, but I switch up my training every single day. I, never, I don't like doing the same routine two days in a row. I like variety in my training. So I'm probably just going to start at my, my basic beginner click timing uh, scenarios, run through that once, hop into my beginning tracking scenarios, hop through that go into my intermediate ones, so on and so forth, hit up the voltaic benchmarks. I'm going to try to work in as much as I possibly can on this uh, on this one week period at 20 centimeters. And again, the theory here and the expectation is that once I go back to my normal 30 or 35 to train on, I'm going to feel even more precise than I did previously. And if you just want like a focus point on what type of drills, you know, training on a fast sensitivity is great to work on those smoothness drills like thin aiming long, but it's also really good if you go on like one of those close fast strafes or close fast strafes easy where the target's moving back and forth really quick because you have to be really, really precise, not overshoot it on almost every shot. All right, Angel, so that's going to be it for me today. And for our challenge, remember a week straight training only 20 centimeter per 360. 
And before we hit the end screen over here, be sure to like the video. And if it's your first time here, become an angel by subscribing. I release tons of FPS related content and you want to be here so that it pops up in your feed. Champ, out.